Um, hello everyone. So in this question, I'm gonna find, um, actually solve a differential equation using the Laplace transform. So we have the differential equation here, as you can see, uh, it's differential equation in terms of i, and um, we have the initial condition i of zero and also i prime of zero. And then I want to find i of t. So you know that when we want to find, um, to solve a differential equation using the Laplace transform, I have to um, find the Laplace transform of this um, equation, equ uh, differential equation. And then I can um, solve it as an algebraic equation and then go back to the time uh, domain from the S domain to the time domain in order to have i of t. So I have to find the Laplace transform of each term. So first is d2i over dt2. So I know that that would be s squared i of s. So i of s is the Laplace transform of i of t. So here I have i, which is i of t. So I will find i of s. Minus s i of 0 minus i prime of 0. Then I have, so these three terms are the Laplace transform of di squared over dt2. Then I will find the Laplace transform of 3di over dt. So that would be 3s i of s minus 3i of 0. Then the Laplace transform of 2i, which is 2i of s. And then the Laplace transform of delta, which is 1. And that would be actually this should be equal to zero so that is equal to zero all right now i will substitute for i of zero and i prime of zero so i of zero is zero so this whole term will be zero this is three then this whole term will be zero because i of zero is zero so now i will factor out i of s from the terms that has i of s in them so that would be s squared then I have i of s over here, so plus 3s plus 2. So this term, um, this term, and this term are gone. And then I will be left with this um, 3 over here, so minus 3 plus this 1 over here. That is equal to 0. So my goal is to find i of s and then um, take the inverse Laplace transform in order to find i of t. So i of s from this equation is equal to 2 over s squared plus 3s plus 2. So now I need to find the Laplace inverse of this um, function over here. So I know that this is equal to 2 over s plus 1 multiplied by s plus 2. And that would be equal to a over s plus 1 plus b over s plus 2. What, so what I'm doing here is uh, I am using the partial fraction in order to find the inverse Laplace transform of i of s. All right. So a we know that is equal to s plus 1 multiplied by i of s when s is equal to minus 1 and that would give us 2 and then b is equal to s plus 2 Again, multiply by i of s when s is equal to negative 2, and that will give me negative 2. So from here, I have i of s equal to a, which is 2 over s plus 1 minus 2 over s plus 2. And then in order to find um, i of t, I know that i of t is Laplace inverse of i of s. And that would be 2e to the negative t u of t minus 2e to the negative 2t u of t. All right. So in this kind of questions, we always know that we have to transfer our differential equation to the Laplace transform to the s domain, then find um, the variable that we are looking for algebraically, and then that is in s domain which is our i of s over here. And then we can take the inverse Laplace transform in order to find that variable that we're looking for in the time domain. All right, so I hope you understood.
this material. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comments down below. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.